welcome back to Westbridge Hills, episode 10, with me, Mr. Silly P. Field 6 is just behind me, just through that gap there, and I've decided rather than buying root crop storage shelters and buying another barn or shelter in the town, there are these big barns, big shelters. So, this is going to be my sugar beet storage shelter. I'm going to stick it on the ground, and when I need stuff, I can come and get it with a shovel, or I can get it with a conveyor belt. When the price is better, load stuff up, but I'm going to unload it here. Just put it on the ground and pile it up. There's plenty of room in here. This one will be for sugar beet. I can do one for potatoes if you want to. It saves buying storage, but it's all here. The Terra variant has got a full load of 35,000 on it, and the sugar beet harvester has just finished. So, I'm going to be looking in the region of 110,000 litres of sugar beet, I think, roughly. Pretty good. Happy with that. Does also mean I don't need the lorry again because I can just bring in the uh, the chaser bin and unload straight from that onto the ground, so I won't need to worry about that anymore. Put that down. There's plenty of room to get in and out. So I think I'm going to go with the full. When I do pigs, actually making everything myself rather than go in with the pig food silo. But that'll be the harvest done on here anyway. I thought I needed to finish it off. Even if it's at the start of this new episode, it does need to be finished. Otherwise I kind of leave a job half done. And no one's quite sure what actually happened. So I'll unload all of that. And that's the sugar beet stored. So next job after getting the sugar beet out of the field is going to be getting it ready for the next crop. So I brought the, the coulter plough down get this unfolded and it does mean that it will cultivate but we'll also give it the, uh, the kind of ploughing deep soil penetration that it needs set that off So now that's going. I've got fields to harvest. So first the Rostelmash Torum. I'll get field sixteen on the go. sure why I just went this way. Could have gone out the farmyard the other way. So it's gonna be a bit of a turn and burn on these fields. Get them harvested, get the crops out, get them cultivated, sprayed, fertilised, reseeded, ready to go again. Corn here, sunflower off behind me, I've got a field of potatoes, I've just done sugar beet. I'm trying to mix up the crops as much as I can, although I haven't done canola. I did originally. Okay, I think what I might need to do is, like I've done before, stick a headland in this end so the harvest doesn't come out onto the road, otherwise it gets tangled up with cars, pesky civilians, 
getting in the way. Fog that one up. Get this round out of the way. I should have gone around the side, but it doesn't matter. Let's swing this round without hitting a tree. turning the crop into it. There we go, that's a bit better. Right. Off we go. And after this harvest I might need to put some fuel in this. So, from here, over to the store. A new purchase is needed for the farm to make this whole process a lot quicker. And as if by magic, here we are. No messing around. I can make the money back. New Holland, CR 1090. Absolutely. Do I want to purchase it? Of course I do. Why wouldn't you? It's an absolute beauty. I do like this one. And then header to match. So we'll go right the way up to the big old Superflex Draper 45 foot. Select, of course. Still got 203,000 in the bank. That's alright. Oh, I love this. And it's quite a quick one as well. Got a nice bit of pace on it. I was actually looking yesterday on the uh, Giants website at the uh, um, the mod contest um, entries. God, there are loads, so many different maps and so many different vehicles and tractors and equipment and there's a lot of stuff on there. But what did catch my eye was the um, uh, they've got a fertilizer sprayer, like the New Holland Guardian Boom Sprayer, but a Challenger one. And it looked really, really nice. All of the mod contest ones all said PC Max. I don't know how many of them will get converted over to, to uh, console, but this has always been a firm favourite of mine. Big tank, 14,500 I think it is, or 14,000. Um, good speed, big header. You've got a big farm, you need one of these. Well, actually what you need is three of these, but, you know. We'll start with one, see how we get on. Certainly my gun to three, who knows. Did have three harvesters on Lawfold, so there's always potential. I've got form. Right. See what I mean about speed, it's brilliant. Plenty of beacons. Let's get this down towards field 17. Because that'll be next. I'm thinking of leasing a Helianthus header to do those. Haven't done that before. I normally use the uh, corn header, which I'm going to need one of those for doing that field too. So we will need some headers, which is going to mean more contracting off screen, of course. Although we'll see what we'll get for these, uh, these harvests. I might make so much money that um, I just don't know what to do with it all. I doubt it, but I might. Right, so now we're off the main highway. I need to try and put this as close to central as I can, really. I'll probably do. Out there. Yeah. 
fold that up. Turn it off. We are good to go. We have a full grain tank, so we are in need of unloading. In total, I'm going to get more than will fit into the small Joskin. In actual fact, I'm thinking now with most of my fields, I'm going to get more than will fit in that. Well, I possibly... Well, depends what I put down in field 6 now. Um, and typically it would be facing the wrong way, wouldn't it? But it's not a problem. Now, checking on this, prices are not looking too healthy at the moment. Although soybean at the freight yard is going up. I don't think I've had anything above one... What did I sell the first lot for? 1,700 and something, I think it was. They're not very high amounts. I was hoping at some point it'd go above 2,000. But I don't think it will. Um, what else are we looking at? Sugar beet. Yeah, it's all still dropping. So I won't be selling any of that soon. <coughs> oh, excuse me. If you're wondering why I haven't started off the new Holland yet, because the whole point is I could have two halves going at the same time and make the job a lot quicker. Qui quicker? Quicker or even quicker. Um, just making up my own vocabulary now. Um, there's something I want to try, and for that I need both harvesters, so I'm going to finish this one first, then I'll get them both whizzing away over there. Uh, actually, I do need to check on... Not on that. On... Growth... Yeah, the new field... I did. It's um, this way off. It's not going to be ready for a while. But that's soybean as well, I believe. Yes, it is. Plenty of contracting, though. There's plenty of fields ready to go. But the next job's going to be then after 16's done, 17, and then uh, get field 10 cleared as well. 15 is in its final growth stage, though. That won't be long either. And 20 is now ready for potatoes, so a potato harvest will be happening sometime soon as well. Lots going on. So like I've said before, nothing happens for ages and you're trying to find jobs and all of a sudden everything happens at the same time. Once this is cleared, I'm going to hit this with the big bud and the uh, really big cultivator. Rather than the culture plough, because I've done what one harvest on this since I culture ploughed it, maybe two. So I'll get one more out of it before it needs ploughing again. Oh, 
what I do need to do is get the fertiliser spreader over to field 6, so that's the next job I think, while this is finishing off. Okay. We are full, so it's only a small field. It will take next to nothing of this. If I ever make it there. Come on. Send it again, I should have used the case. I don't know why I didn't. Probably because I do like this one. Looking forward to, and I'm hoping even if um, Black Sheep Modding don't win the mod contest, where are we going? You can see where I've sneaked across the grass. Um, their Massey Ferguson pack that's in the uh, mod contest looks amazing. Lots of old tractors and machinery. And Someone mentioned the other day actually about the classic tractor pack again. Um, so it was brilliant on FS15. I know on PC there's lots of classic tractor stuff, but that might be quite nice. Classic tractor pack again for some of the small farms. Just saying. I should have done this before I cultivated it. it just didn't even cross my mind. But it's not a problem. I'll just have to do uh, maybe a weed on it, and then um, and then a fertilizer spray at some point. just goes to show that when I did the first strip it was me because it wasn't straight at all ok that should finish off just fine there. Nearly there, nearly full. Let's see if I can get to him before he gets to the end. Don't want it turning around or stopping really. Let's see how we get on. Come on! Should be fine. Well, it's not bad to be twenty plus thousand litres off this one. Here we are for the main event. Um, this was what I was intending to do. So let's jump in here, turn it on, open it up. No, wrong one. Open it up. There we go. Now on field 16, I've got the fertilizer sprayer going. I've remembered to do it at the right stage this time. And then I'll get, the, I'll fire up the bud. We'll get the bud down with the big uh, cultivator. We'll get field 16 cultivated. So, let me just straighten up on this. 
So what I'm going to do is set the worker off there. Jump in here. Set the worker off here. Have them both run up the field. Then hopefully, thanks to Frank Dad, now the problem I've got is is the New Holland quicker? Should got the same speed. It should turn away. So the New Holland will turn to the left, this will turn to the right, then it'll do a half a field each. Should. We'll see. And no, it didn't. That's absolutely brilliant. I obviously didn't have them close enough. That's frustrating. Maybe they need to be running literally side by side. I think that was more my error than anyone else's. Oh well, right, next time I'll try it and we'll see how we get on. I'm going to need to do a bit of work though, because when field 15 is ready for the silage harvest, I'm going to need to lease a forage harvester. I'm not going to buy one outright straight away, because I just don't have the money. Um, I could do with one, but I haven't got the money to get it. So we'll see how we get on with that. Um, so this continues, I'm going to go and get the bud. And we'll get the cultivator and crack on with field 16. And then start turning over this one once this is done. Having two harvesters certainly does help. Having three, I think, is going to be even better. When we build this farm up, we've got some of these real monster fields going. Having three harvesters running will be cracking. Let's fire up the bard. In the time it took me to go and get this, I think both of the harvesters have got full grain tanks. I know at least one of them has. Helper F. Whichever one Helper F is. So let's get this cultivated. Well, this is going. Lots of multitasking today. Lots of various different vehicles and various different fields. Um, this has been sprayed. Now being cultivated. 
That's the way that kind of arcs over the ridge. Nice. Um, I'll just go and empty these harvesters. I have taken the extreme liberty of moving the first harvester round because it was on the wrong side. But luckily, the New Holland is on the right side, so we should be good. Back off and running, pipe in. And they're both off again. Brilliant. I think I'm going to probably leave the big bud doing it this way. It seems to be doing a great job. It makes no difference up or down the field side to side. And there's more turns doing it side to side, but... I was intentionally intending to only do a headland and then carry on, but... It's fine. So this will be ready for seed soon. So what I can do with this one, because I fertilise a spread, then cultivate it. I can then fertilise a spray before I seed. The other one, I can't because I cultivated and then fertilise a spread, so I can't do anything now until it's seeded. Um, so yeah, it's my fault, missed out step, but this will work fine. A full load, 70,000. It couldn't have worked out better. New Holland finishing off its last strip this side. Rossell Mash finishing off its last strip that side. So there'll be whatever's left in the tanks. It's all worked rather well. Now, the question is now do I put this into storage? Do I sell it? 
Thank you, Harvester. Both done. Brilliant. That worked out perfectly. What I will do now is get the spreader, fertilizer spreader on here, get the cultivator on here, and we're ready to go again. Turn and burn. So, price wise. Oh, soybeans gone into 1724 and still climbing. Hmm. Interesting. What I might do is, just for the time being, put this into storage, I think. See how high that climbs and then sell it. And what I will do is. Uh, no, I'll put it all in storage. Just thinking I'll put this whole lot in storage and then I'll, whatever comes out the harvesters I'll um, leave in the trailer but then to be fair I do need to do the sunflower harvest up on field 10. I'm going to need a trailer for that too. So what side do I need on this side? I have got the fertiliser spreader going on the case this time, the puma, and the big bud's just behind the red barn there waiting to do the cultivating. I'm just going to park this up. Under here. Like so. Because it's the longer barn, I'll say shelter, you can get the trail things. I was parking these all up in here, but to be fair, they all fit in with their respective bits of machinery, so that all works rather well. Um, and I'll keep saying that. Um, that's the end of the episode. The soybean harvest is done. Um, the field's finished on field six. Uh, that's ready for seed. 16's ready for seed. 17 I'm getting ready. Um, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Before I finish off, just a, something, um, don't forget to turn on notifications. If you go onto the subscribe bit next to it, there's normally a little bell. If you click on the bell, it will notify you when videos get posted, because YouTube, YouTube, YouTube keep fiddling around with settings and various different things and changing things. and. Um, and people aren't being notified when videos are posted and that kind of thing. So if you do want to be notified when videos get posted, um, click on the bell and you should get a notification every time a video gets put up um, because I've been kind of all over the place, busy at work and various different things, so the videos aren't all going up at regular times. So it would just make life a little bit easier. But anyway, I digress. So um, if you enjoyed the episode, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share the video, please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.